was born this way. But wait, I gotta go home. Just cut me out completely, <laughs> please. Are you generally a, an emotional person? Yeah, I'm super emotional. I mean, I don't cry all the time, but, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> but being in the public eye, do you feel like you have to hide your emotions? Or can you sort of be the, the person you are? <laughs> Does it look like I've been hiding any of my emotions? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I don't know. I mean, I can't... Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I can do what I... I don't know. I don't know. I have to go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you feel free to be the person you are. You don't have to, like... Yeah, I don't really have a choice. I, I tried to explain that to Darren. I, like, said something in an interview one time, and he was just like, why, Jen, why? why? He was like, just do me a favor. Next time, just don't. If you don't want, you know, this, this, and this to happen, then just don't say it. And I was like, oh, well, that just sounds lovely. You mean I don't do an interview where I say something that I shouldn't say and that I regret? But that would be the, oh. Great! You know, I don't really have a choice. I just, I was born this way. But where do you I gotta go home. Where do you, where do you find the strength, <laughs> strength to do that? Though? You've, you've, you've spoken out it's in the past. It's not strength, it's, it's honestly lack of choice. <laughs> I mean, you can't put a filter on yourself? It's not really. I mean, I've tried and sometimes it's effective, but it's normally fleeting and it goes away very quickly. Or I'll, I'll, I'll be like, aha, I held it in and I didn't say anything. And then just when I think I got away with it, then I'll say it. But do you kind of regret it afterwards, or, or? Oh, of course, many times, yeah. Really? Of course. Yeah. But, but you know, the next week it's on to something else. So even if it's, even if it's. You mean like why don't I learn from my behavior? N no, no, not at all. <laughs> more, more like the other way around. That even if you say something that you think is, you know, becomes a big deal, then two days later it's something. Well, no, else. I mean there are some things that I'm really happy I spoke out about. I'm happy that I spoke out about equal pay. I'm, I'm. I'm happy that I, you know, speak out in defense of my country and the things that I think should be, you know, even though everybody's like, shut up and act. Um, I'm happy, you know, uh, that I speak out about things that, that mean a lot to me and that I'm passionate about. I just mean, you know, <clears throat> when I just, I can't even give an example because then I'll just repeat the thing that I shouldn't have said. Right. I can't even think of it. But there's also confidence to speak your mind, and, and, and you had that from early on, right? Where, where, where did that come from, do you think? Um, I don't know. I think it's probably just in my nature, I would imagine. I don't, I don't feel like there was ever a time where I was like, oh, no, maybe I shouldn't say that. I feel like since I could talk, I've been saying things that are pretty out of line. <laughs> I think it's been great. But uh, what's the best advice you've gotten in your career? Um... Um, Oprah Winfrey said something under her breath. It wasn't even meaning to, um, wasn't even trying to pass off a word of advice. She was telling a story and in passing she said, you have to teach people how to treat you. I think that that's the greatest advice I've ever heard in my life.